Hey y'all, this is Charlene telling from What the Fuck News. You know what, Diddy, the, the, the last half of 2023 has just been fucked up for you and bro. Look y'all, I was scrolling YouTube, minding my business, being nosy as usual, and 18 companies, from this is from the hill, right, check this out. 18 companies have cut ties with Sean Cole's business venture in the wake of sexual assault allegations. Look, y'all. Look, hey, Sean. It, hey, bro. I, hey, I'm gonna read to y'all. Hey, I'll be right back. Hold on. Let's put my glasses on. Y'all ready? <laughs> I'm about to read with my outside voice. Here we go. All right. 18 companies share they have cut ties with a business venture created by hip-hop mogul Sean Diddy Combs amid the slew of sexual assault allegations against the, mu the music legend. Legend? You, should, you know what? Anyway, the company is confirmed with Rolling Stone magazine Sunday that they severed business relationships with Combs recently launched Platform Empower Global. Oh, he started something new. I didn't know that, y'all. That's, hey, hey, it's, it's over now. Empower Global, founded by Combs in 2021, is immersed is an immersive e-commerce digital marketplace offering products from black-owned businesses around the world. The platform is said to elevate the black e economy by creating opportunities for black entrepreneurs to build and scale Successful businesses for consumers. Luxury bags, eyewear, and apparel company house of somebody, somebody, founder, somebody, somebody. Okay, you told y'all I can't read. Her name is Annette, though. But anyway, it told the magazine that she cut ties with Empower Global after learning that Cassie Ventura's, better known as R&B singer Cassie, lawsuit against Combs. Oh, so she found out about it. She cut ties with him. Oh, well, hey, yeah, look. She said, we take allegations against Mr. Combs very seriously and find such behavior apparent and intolerable. She told the magazine, we believe in victims' rights. We support victims in speaking their truth, even against most powerful of people. Okay, now, now see, that Sean. And y'all think, yeah, y'all think that that's the only person on their neck? Take a look at a couple of clips I left <laughs> that uh, uh, 50, 50 is on that ass. And I'm waiting. It's a hey, look, stay Sean. You, it, karma's a bitch, ain't it? Y'all have a good day this Charlie ain't telling them what the fuck knows. The uh, last post, but he basically said he would buy a revolt for a pretty good amount of money. Uh, and uh, I really think you should consider that. You know, <laughs> all the shit you got going on. Oh, y'all think this is for me? No, no, this means it's not for me, it's for y'all. See, see, I'm gonna be all right. Yep, yeah, yeah, I know you're gonna be all right, but, I mean, let's just say, worst case scenario, you know, like, the feds are coming and they, you know, mm. put you in jail. <laughs> I would take the money. You ever been motherfucked before? I'm motherfucking you right now. Maybe if you had stopped doing mind fucking and thinking with your dick, we'd be in a better situation. Actually, you know what? Not we. You would Ooh. be in a better situation. Because, I mean, you're paying me to give you good ideas just to not fucking listen to them. I'm sorry. I lost my cool there for a second. Throw that phone out of my office. You want me to, you want me to throw my phone? Throw the phone out of my office. Bro, I just, I just bought this. Throw that fucking phone out of my office. 